Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one's for Scrubs. Season 2, episode number 12. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Tell a friend to tell a friend. It helps the algorithm. Alright, just one comment to feature from episode 11, and uh, this is executive producer Faye, who says, Oh hell, I don't know. Really liked your reaction to this episode. Okay, that <laughs> was like, Kels. Uh, sorry, because <laughs> she clarified. Uh, Kelso, meant to write, type Kelso, but it all occurred and I thought it was like, funny. Oh, was the best for me, but I feel a little sorry for Carla because her heart is in the right place, but she just wants so badly to heal people, even if it means... Maybe speaking uh, indefinite too much. With JD and Elliot, I think it's interesting how in his discussion with Turk, JD was worried about how Elliot might want to take this further, but at the end it was actually him. As far as their story goes, I will try not to give too many answers, but I will say that there are seven and a half more seasons to go, so a lot can happen between yeah, the characters. Yeah. Big facts. Yeah. Uh, who knows, Elliot and Kelso in gorilla costume, of course, could get married by the janitor. <laughs> that would be insane. Yeah. Uh, looking forward to the next episode and Elliot finding her inner strength at some point because that girl needs to take charge of turning her personal life around. Mm -hmm. Big facts. Alright, let's jump into uh, episode 12 right now. Where the hell is Carla, man? We're gonna miss the previews. Right, you're black, right? Here we go. Here we go. I hate that stereotype that all black people yell at movie screens. You know, like, you go see some horror flick and you yell like, Don't go in there, girl! Did you have to go? You know? You gotta go! You wish you were allowed to get on the screen, don't you? Why did she go in there? I mean, he's behind the door. He's behind the door. It's weird to run into someone from the hospital out in the real world. It's oh, like you to see your teacher. Some? How you doing, sir? I'm just Jim Dandy. Now, unless your pants are made out of turtle wax, I suggest you boys get your asses off of Bessie. Oh, my son. You need your car, huh? Yes. Ultimately, life is a lot simpler at home. Unless you live with a co-worker you're crazy about and she recently decided she can't handle sleeping with you and she just wants to be friends. Oh, right. Morning, buddy. Morning, pal. I'll just go get dressed. And then uh, we can go to work. That's brave. All right, just relax. You can totally handle this. Chop, 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 buddy. Oh, this guy's side view mirror on his roof. Oh, jeez. Oh. Hey, J.D. Yes? I wanted to say something, you know, before we go back in there. Yes? That I understand that it's going to be a little bit harder for you to transition into being just friends again. Why? Because you're a guy. <laughs> what does that have to do with it? I never do it. Never do it. <laughs> Everything I own is in the back of this truck, including my bed. We should just get in there, get naked, and have sex one last time, just get out of our system. JD, I was kidding to prove a point. I know. Oh my god, he's like, immediately. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah, well, I bet this is. Hey, wish you were wish six. You six. I have to yeah. <laughs> Would you say you've been in contact with many exotic primates this year? I have been to the zoo, yes. And while you were there, did you go ahead and jump right into the cage and play toss the poop with the other monkeys? Because if you did, then yeah, you just might have Yabba, but yeah. if that's the case, it would be way, way down on the list of your problems. Give him a full workout. Okay, Mr. Corman, you know the drill. Here are my vitals. Here is the Mountain Dew. I'm just giving you this my given sample, and you can start climbing. Oh, I'm going to too. Wow. Gotta go. Good luck. There you go, that's my day. Howdy ho! Oh my god. Ow. Dude, she was going like 35 miles an hour. All you saw was like knuckles and a bun. <laughs> Poor Bessie, man. What kind of grown man still names his car? You do. Yeah, well, I've been Malik since I was 17. <laughs> <That's really good. laughs> Don't worry about Kelso, his wife can drive him. His wife hates him. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, shit. He mad as fuck, man. Money, Skipper. Yeah, he gets a show in the car. Mr. Corman, I'm afraid you have Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia. 
it is a very rare form of uh, cancer. Yeah. What cancer? Oh, cancer. I that just college. This is Dr. Zeltzer. He is the finest oncologist we have on staff. Really? Yeah. You think so? Yeah, do. Thank you. Thank you. So where do we start? Well, uh, first off, we need to... It's just Miss Kate told me about picking up her grandkids, and she said she was feeling fine, and I believed her. Doctor, follow me. So have you used drugs in the last 48 hours? Oh, no, sir. Never used drugs. Because this shot you're about to get could kill you if it's mixed with narcotics. Oh, drugs, yes, sir, all the time. See? Wait for the Everybody, six all hours. patients lie. Five, Remember how to live? No, 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 ten seconds. Everybody lies, mm -hmm. Dr. Turk. Whether it's that doobie brother in there or say me when I tell my son he can still live at the house after he graduates from art school. And by the way, sport, Mrs. K doesn't have any grandchildren. Ooh, just lying, babe. Just out here lying. It's K ain't yet, no I'm way. still a virgin. You're pregnant. Again? Says the bypass dog, nothing but silence. Look, it was an accident. The flashlight didn't have any batteries. So you decided to put your penis in there. Carmen, great news. Dr. Zelter and I have gone over your test results and your prognosis is excellent. That's great. <laughs> yeah, it is. But you know what? You guys can pat yourself on the back all you want, but I'm not an idiot. I know that you're scrolling with me, that I come in here sometimes thinking I'm sick when I'm not. But if you remember anything, you remember this. If it turns out I didn't have cancer, I could have been just some guy coming in here looking for help that you treated like crap. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thing has given me an ulcer. You want to be tested for that too, don't you? Do you mind? Do you mind? Yeah. Doctors walked away. Yeah, you know exactly. what? You were right. I, I should have been there for you last night. Did you ask me how cancer? Yes, he does have cancer. I thought this was a big ass. And I'm sorry you lost all your things. That totally sucks. Who calls me on it? And then you're damn sure the one who makes me stop. That's the way it works. That's the way it's worked for years. And just exactly what happened to that. I guess I just don't get as good a read on you as I used to. Maybe all that therapy has changed you. Oh, please, I'm crazier than ever. Look, at, during this entire conversation, I've actually been imagining myself sitting on a throne between us, watching all of this. Maybe we're just not as close as we used to be. Mm. You do have a baby mom there. So you're just like right here watching us? Mm. Other side. Mm. I'm invisible to the naked eye. <laughs> of course, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Why so sad, chocolate bear? Chocolate bear. Like going back to the hospital, you know? Yeah. Hey, is my breath okay? Because I think Lisa and I actually might try talking to Dude, that whole damn building is packed with liars. It is not. Well, if the cut was that deep, I'd probably just uh, pull your arm off. Once again, Dr. Jan Itor. Dr. Jan Itor. Jan Itor. Me. Oh, yeah, maybe you're right. But we're doctors, man. I mean, that comes with the territory. Some patients just don't like telling the whole truth. I don't get why people have to do that. Maybe it's because they're proud. Maybe it's because they're scared. You know what? There's just stuff. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah. Maybe it's because telling the truth would make them feel too vulnerable. I guess. Dude, you're gonna be late for gift shop, girl. Oh my god. There are a few things I've always believed in. Like that my crown was a pet crochet for me and... Oh, my first love letter. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for her. She's having such a rough time right now.
All right, it's episode 12 of Scrubs, and I'm just be brief with it, man. It was, it was an okay episode on that one. Um, not too much going on, but just in the way of Sarah moving on, you know, she's finally, I mean, Elliot, I mean, she finally got her apartment. Um, I don't know, She maybe she's getting over it a little bit, but I'm glad to see she got a place now. And, she, and her and JD, that was a good twist at the end that he went to her instead of um, the girl from Chuck. Because they didn't really have nothing in common at all. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad to see. Look, and they might as well stop fighting it. I mean, they should just be boyfriend and girlfriend. It, it just looks like that's what that's going to be. And I like Turk and um, uh, Kelso. I like that part. That was probably my best part about the episode. Those two right there. And and once again, Kelso coming through, dropping some science on the new doctors. That, look, you should probably take this life lesson as being a doctor. Everybody lies. House told you that too. And it's no different here at this hospital. So I like that aspect of it. And they're, and they're just keeping it real. So, um, all right. Just can't wait to the next episode. Um, yeah, I absolutely love Kelso's Everybody Lies. It totally reminded me of House, which we adore that show. So I'm like, I'm wondering if they saw that episode. We're like, this is going to be his uh, mantra, Everybody yeah. Lies. Um, so I love that aspect. And I, I love every time they team up, Kel, uh, Kelso and Turk. I feel like they just have a great dynamic. Obviously, Kelso had the upper hand. He got a, a W this episode, whereas mm -hmm. Turk's gotten uh, gotten them in the past. So again, I like I like that dynamic. I think they w really play well off e each other. So anytime that they're paired up, I know it's going to be a good episode. Um, I like seeing um, um, what's his name? Oh. The other doctor. Cox. Cox. Yeah. yeah. Cox and um, uh, oh girl, as far as like revisiting their friendship too. It like I mean he's so. I, I feel like with her specifically, he shows his most vulnerable self. Yeah, he's more of a human. Yeah, he's much yeah. more human, even more even more than he is with Jordan, I feel like. Oh, um, yeah. No, Jordan so, turned into a monster. Yeah, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm wondering if at some point that's going to develop into a relationship. I could see it going that way outside yeah. of I don't want Turk to get hurt, though, so yeah. I don't know how I would feel about it. They but would I don't have know. to fall out first. And then. It would have to be something down the line, yeah. but he, she definitely brings the best out of him in that mm -hmm. way. Um, and he feels challenged to be better in her presence too so i don't know that dynamic's interesting as well um and i just last thought is just i feel so bad for elliot elliot is taking l after l after l right now like yeah. the, this added caveat and now all of her stuff is stolen too so she doesn't have any of her belongings so she's literally sitting in an apartment with none of her stuff like at yeah. rock yeah. bottom she's literally at rock bottom at this point um and i'm just ready for her to catch a w like yeah, it's really. been rough um, but another solid episode, and can't wait for the next one. Yep. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Scrub Season 2, Episode 12. And until next time, people, peace.